Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Now we're playing as the robot. Since we've got the television to where it needs to go, we can now play as another character. This one's pretty interesting, especially because it has no health. It has no heart, anyway. It has shields. Which I have no idea how well that's going to go, well, for, go for me. Because I don't know how that's even going to work. It's kind of a program be about the same, but with the added bonus of shields exploding when they I get hit or something maybe we also can't heal at some traditional places like the medical place I'm pretty sure the medical tent uh, but yeah I have no idea how this is gonna work because of that but I'm interested to find out so let's keep going and just do our best as we always do well, maybe we don't always do, but we try to anyway. It's hard to really say. Just don't want to break the thing there. Key, very nice. Do we have another weapon? I don't think so, we just have this one. Have to find another one elsewhere. It's very tempting to scan there, but I'm going to hold off. I should be really just holding off on a lot more things more often. Even if it's like a chest and I need to live, it might still be good to just hold off on it until I have everything else explored so I can find out what's the best option for me. What's the best chest to open basically and stuff like that. I just rushed too many things so... But anyway, let's keep moving. Okay. I'm also going to try and go to the subfloor, again, which may or may not be a good idea, but I think the more runs that we've had in the subfloors, the better runs we've had, basically. Just overall. Also, what's going to happen when I get items that traditionally increase my health? Because I don't think they're going to do what I think they're going to do, because they might just not work the way you'd expect them to. I think it's Mimic. Maybe it is. Give me that key. I'm surprised that didn't fail, to be honest. But I dodged it, so that's good. We're doing alright so far. So far. It's an important keyword. Can't miss it out. But I can miss it up. Thank you. So far, so good. I remember being really bad at this game. <laughs> I mean, I still am pretty bad, but also... I'm getting hit a lot less, which is good. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, we have a bottle, just by default, I believe, to put something into. Well, hang on, let me check this. Uh, sprays an area with liquid coolant. Oh, right, coolant leak. <laughs> Useful for putting out fires or electrical or, le or electrifying areas. Uh, electrifies all bullets fired, increased accuracy. Increases accuracy. That's pretty good for battery bullets. The shock troops of the hegemony of man consists consists entirely of heart heartless machines, shielded from ho uh, voltage voltage attacks. Their victims, however, have learned to fear the inevitable sting of their electrified shells. That's really cool. There's so much cool text in this game. And I'm never going to be able to read it all. Interesting. Very interesting. Speaking of interesting, here's the shop. And that definitely is the secret, which is why I was holding off on blanking for so long. Can't use that. Also, I'm pretty sure the stuff in the secret rooms can't be stolen. Which is another interesting thing that I may have looked up, but now know. Uh, well, I can't buy these, can I? I don't, wouldn't have thought so. Don't need the map because we've already found everything. 
even the secret already. But key might actually be beneficial to us, so... Means we can get three extra chests, which is all that there are. And I'm gonna get them all, so let's do that. <gasps> wow. R2G2. Cool. Also, bum bullets. Bumble core. I don't know what that does. Let's find out, because we just unlocked that recently. Some of the bullets contain bees. These shells contain tiny beehives. Guns and bees provide a textbook example of the concept of symbiosis. Look it up. Okay. Now, do I want to open this up as well? Probably. I don't know why I wouldn't. Oh, very interesting. A free key from that. That was well worthwhile. Anyway, let's go to the boss then. Twins, okay. Also bees. The bees. Burn the bees. Burn with the bees. Oh boy. Just need to keep the fire going, basically. And everything will be fine. Probably? Maybe? It's not exactly how that works, but I'll keep it going, I guess. Oh boy. I don't know how this is working right now. I think a fire is just working out for me. Fairly well. Nope, got hit. Okay. First hit. I'm pretty sure anyway. Should have shot more so that the more bees would spawn. Hey, broccoli. How about that? More shield. I don't think we can save shield for later, but that doesn't matter because we can just get more health. That's actually an interesting idea. Just, no matter what, we get health, basically. Except if we get hearts, we can't get those, basically. Broccoli. Makes you strong. Not forgetting to use the secret exit. We've already found everything else. This was a pretty good first floor. We got everything we could, I believe. We can't even refill anything, so... That one extra refill is just going to sit there forever. But let's go. I should possibly use the coolant to try and change up the game in the boss fight because then I could have electrified it or something. <clears throat> I don't know how helpful that would have been, but I could have done it, so. Let's keep this up. The bees! The bees! The bees. Thank you for the extra money. It's very nice having R2G2 as well. <laughs> Just look at all this. A refill already? I didn't need that. Okay. It might be good to get another gun at some point. Ah, uh, but also possibly would be nice to get some more accessories, as it is always good to get more accessories. Come on. After you 2s probably got this. Yep. More enemies. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, hello. Ow. Didn't dodge that good. I've just been always bad at dodging, basically. There's never been a good a point where I'm good at dodging, I don't think. I always dodge into the wrong direction. Basically. Even if it could be a good direction, it's not, so... Also like the electrifying effect. Okay, shop. There is a key and there's a loot bag. I don't know if I want to do that. If I can even do that. I don't even know. I haven't tested that theory yet. Of angering the shopkeeper. What would a loot bag even contain? 
could contain anything. It's a loot bag. And also, this is the second room, or the floor of the run. So we probably would want to keep the shop available. In case he wanted it. That's definitely a Mimic, right? Like, that's definitely a Mimic, right? No? I thought it moved, so I thought it was a Mimic, but I guess not. We'll find out. At some point. Well, maybe we won't if I die here, so... Because that's also always possible. So many guns, and bullets, and bullets, and guns. Ow, I dodged into it again. I always do that. Hey, health, I can't even pick up. Wow. I wish I could pick it up just so I could sell it, basically. That's a shame. So if we get the item that spawns more health if we play well, it's just gonna be absolutely worthless. Another chest. Very cool. Also very tempted to scan there. But probably shouldn't. I really need to actually get a thing that scans good. Pasha refill. Oh, hello. That works. Everything's fine. Man, I really like the different things in this game. Like the poison, you have to stay in it too long to get hurt. The fire, if you walk through it, you have to roll to put it out, otherwise you'll burn. The ice, the fire, the... Like the... The flammable liquid stuffs. The ice, the water. There's just so many cool things that just work well. I, I, like, it'd be so cool to see the, the process of them making this game and being like, what, what else should we add? And they just add so many things. And it just all works somehow. It'd be really cool to just make a... What's it called? A roguelike. Well, so that's not getting stolen. That's really interesting. Would have thought they would have taken it by now. Also, something else I don't think I've ever thought about in this game for some reason. I'm so sad that I got hit there. Is that if there's a locked door, it just can't have the end of the, the floor on it. Basically. I feel like I've not thought about that much, which I probably should have thought about a bit. It probably wouldn't have helped me at all, but just the idea of, like, keeping an eye out for that would have been good, probably. Let's go pick up a few things. So I kind of want to scan somewhere. It's a good thing I didn't scan here, because that was definitely not the right option. More shield. Also heavy boots. Low center of mass. Let me just double check that again. Last gun engineer. To keep their footing, even when great force is applied to them. Okay, so I don't get knocked back. Okay. Where do I want to scan? I kind of want to scan the side room, which has the thing in it. The shield. Nope. Maybe it's post-boss or pre-boss. Um, I don't think it's that room. Also, the wall things, the wall mimics, they have actually a pretty high chance of showing up on the first floor, and I didn't check that at all. Like, in the first room. But you just have to basically walk near them for them to appear, basically. And that's kind of something that might be good to do a little bit of, even though they're an enemy. But, I don't know. Let's go to the other boss. Which is the Blob Lord, because it's always the Blob Lord. Fire's not going to really help me out here. Just keep shooting. We'll zap them and... Be them. <laughs> We're going to be them. But not to be them that people normally say when you want to be them. Or something. Although I don't think anyone ever says that, so I don't know.
That was alright. Impressively alright. That's all I have to say. Well, that's a shame about the heart. Ring of uh, Mimic Friendships. Unlikely allies. Well, let's start scanning, I guess. Since it's not in the place I would have expected it to be. Also need to not forget the shield, I guess, so. But I have no idea where, to act where this will actually be, so. I'm probably not going to find it. Probably. Maybe? I'm going to... I don't know how long I should really look for it, though. I could look for a while. I don't know if this is actually revealing anything, if it could, so... There's a few places I could guess, so I'm just gonna check those. It's also possible that I've already seen the crack in the wall, I just didn't notice. Which would be just a shame. A real shame. Please be here. Just gonna scan. Nothing. Even if we did find it, we'd have to buy a blank at this point, so... Oh well. Let's go deeper. Okay, Gungeon proper. I also want to check now that we have delivered the TV. If it's... It's still down here. Broken and heavy. I don't see the point in carrying that, though. Unless there's something else I can do with it. Also, apparently the television has a health bar. Every time it's dropped, it gets... When dropped on the ground, it is vulnerable to enemy bullets. But it doesn't show you how much health it has left. Um, interesting. Yeah, from what I can see, there's no value to the television anymore, so... Not even if we took it to a shop or anything, it would just... We can't sell it, we can't get anything from it, basically. Ow! That's not a good start, and that's running out of thing. Really not a great start to this floor. This is what I get for looking up if the television had any value, other than the memories that we share. This is fine. Just fine. There's a shop already, that's interesting. We do have AT money, but it's also probably good to just explore the rest of the floor as well. So we can find more things. Interesting, there's not a ton. Ow, I just walked into that. Again, this is what I get. This is what I deserve. For the things I've done. Get him! Wow! R2G2 just going all all in. Hey health, look at that, cool. Just gonna not get hit by stuff. And everything will be fine. What's well, hello? I keep moving. Oh, hello. Funny seeing you here. Ow. You do make things more annoying there, so. The bees. Ah. Please, bees. Do the bees thing. Ow. Well, I have one health left, one shield. Ah, uh, I wish these hearts would become... ...shield. Or something. Also, this is definitely the way to the boss, wow. Uh, also I lost... Did I even grab the... I don't even think I grabbed the shield, okay. I just lost where I was going for a long time there. 
This does not look healthy. At all, any of this. I don't even have a way to get more health. Grab a key there. No other shops, I believe. That's a secret way up there. What's the clown mask? Maybe that's what I could do. Let's try and check if I can get the thing from the shop. Ah, uh, this could be a bad idea though. If I die... <laughs> At this point, might as well. We might as well try it. I don't think this run is going to go anywhere, so... Clan mask unlocked. So that does work. Okay. Clan mask. Anonymity? Mitty? Uh, didn't read it. It's fine. I can't read it anyway. <laughs> apparently. But yeah, so we can actually get these items, which I probably should have done a long time ago. Grant anonymity. Friendship. Mask of this this design were used. <clears throat> To explore primitive gungeon like structures filled with money, now referred to as mungeons. Anonymity was important to the mungerers of this time. The friendly clown design is thought to have uh, helped mungerers make peace with the native inhabitants. Well, I've busted up the shop, but we now have a clown companion, I guess. At the very least, we're getting some amount of completion. Also, we have the a mask on ourselves now. That's very interesting. We can't even tell that they were, we're the robot anymore. Very nice. Should have checked the loot bag or something. There's so many things we can check out now that I know we can actually do that. It's probably not recommended, but if the run's gonna die anyway, probably, I might as well. Also, this, this muncher, depending on what you give it, it gives you a set amount of, like, set thing of things. But it's probably unlikely that I'm gonna get something good, but it, it usually gives you something better, so. I think that's the same with the witches, which I don't remember if I've mentioned or not. The witches, when you give them a gun... It's a 50-50 chance, basically, of it being better or worse. So, um, I might just hold off on opening that for the moment. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we'll just open it. It's here, so. Okay. The membrane. Hopefully I'll live. There's so many paths. <laughs> and stuff. Also, hey, what's this special room? It's a blank room. Interesting. I'll do that then. Get an alien sidearm. I probably need this other blank, though. I should have checked the shop for blanks, which I probably can't get now. So that's all of that that I can ever get. Cool. I really should have thought this through a little bit more. But I did not, and now it's, uh, too late. That works for me. Hey, another blank. Well, if we can make it through without accidentally using it. We can get many things, maybe. In theory. Works, okay. So let's go ahead and blank. This is a free chest anyway. More gun. So much gun. Blunderbuss. Iron stance. Or stance. Stance is probably more correct. I'd have to guess. It sounds better. Blank again. That one's locked though. Just we need keys, and we don't have any options of keys anymore. Although we didn't have any options for keys to begin with, so... Uh... Oh. 
the real problem right now is I have no health. <laughs> so I guess it's the end of the run, unless we beat the boss and stuff. We haven't even reached the boss yet, so. We have some companions to fight for us, which is good. Just in case we need it. Thank you for the refill. Let's go with that one. Probably should have refilled this one, but this one's already good, so I'm just gonna go for it. Here we go. This is actually probably good because it can actually shoot a whole bunch of stuff. And that might be good for stopping his attacks and spawns. There we go. Okay. Still alive. Oh my goodness. Play will get shield. I don't know how that's going to work right now. Also that gave us an extra shield for getting the master round. Nice. Uh, is it worth staying? Well, I could get a key. Possibly. And that might be good. I just need to live. I have companions. That should help. No key. It's very doubtful I'm going to get a key, so... Ah, uh, this isn't going to work for me. Oh my goodness. Just a health I can't take. Okay. So, did we open up that chest? I don't think we did. But it's not on the map anymore. Yeah, I would have missed this if I didn't know that I didn't have it. Take trash. Is there any guns I want to trade away, maybe? As well. It's an option. More junk. I think this is the closest way to the thing. The muncher. I believe also the... The weapons that you give it have, like, different trees of stuff. Like, if you give it poison weapon, and then some other kind of weapon, and then stuff like that, basically. I'm gonna give you a blunderbuss. And... Probably alien sidearm. I don't know. Just hope for the best. Dueling pistol. I'll take that, I guess. Let's look at those health, those hearts, that we can't even take with us or sell. Well, let's go see how we go on the next floor, what could possibly go wrong with the amount of health we have.